trading. Simon Michelle from Fig Securities is joining us live. Simon, thanks for joining us. Now, yields uh, look to be sort of ticking up slightly. Uh, everyone watching and waiting for Janet Yellen's testimony this week. That's absolutely right. And we've got that uh, Tuesday, Wednesday US time. And most people are expecting to, her to be a little bit more hawkish, maybe preparing the market for possibly up to three interest rate increases in the US. Uh, market's still not really convinced of a March increase, looking more to June. So, uh, as you say, fairly uh, quiet. Um, rates about 20 basis points below the peak in December. Fairly steady as we await that uh, testimony. Mm. And Aussie yields, I mean, they look to also be relatively steady. It's a pretty big week of, of data this week, in particular those employment figures on Thursday. That's exactly right. And uh, I think the market will be looking to that employment uh, number. Expect it to remain mm. around 5.8 and see some positive uh, uh, jobs added to the economy. Uh, I think also obviously very much driven by what we're likely to hear uh, out of the US as well. So I think uh, as you see in rate movements, both uh, markets pretty much only up a basis point and uh, both markets around 20 basis points below what we saw back in December. Simon, so Tony from Henderson's here. I think we're due to see the Fed minutes uh, from the last rates decision later on this week. Do you think it's possible there might be some volatility associated with that or perhaps a push in expectations that we might see March as a live meeting? Look, it is definitely possible and, and, you know, that's, I think, what people are looking to Janet Yellen from too. I mean, you know, we are expecting her to be a little bit more bullish on rate increases. Is that going to put that March increase on or is it going, you know, is the market going to continue just to, to price in for a June increase? I think, uh, look, we know, we know that uh, inflation is getting up towards target. Uh, you know, we've got a little bit of uncertainty around the, the growth in relation to, you know, the Donald Trump uh, fiscal policy uh, surge, I suppose. And I think, you know, markets are really looking for a bit more certainty around that. I think Janet Yellen's going to be really about suggesting that, you know, it is quite possible that as we get more detail out, you are going to see the curve adjust to take account for, for that, and you're going to see the need for her to push rates higher quicker than what the market's got them priced in at the moment. Mm, interesting. All right, well, um, also watching these credit spreads, looks like they're narrowing investors moving into risk. That's right. So, uh, you know, just as you see the equity market uh, performing well and the investors happy to jump into that, uh, we're seeing credit spreads narrow. Now, that's basically the risk premium on bonds. So what it means is that investors are happy to buy slightly more risky bonds and take advantage of the higher returns that they're offering at the moment. All right, fantastic. Simon, we'll wrap it up there. Really appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Simon Mich